Jean Seberg became well known in the movie world during the 1960s for her strong presence on screen. What made her different from others was how she made her characters feel real, leaving a big impact on audiences. Even though her life ended sadly, Seberg is still remembered today for her powerful acting and influence on cinema. Do you have any special memories or experiences related to this iconic actress? Share them with us below. Also, stay tuned for some interesting facts about her life. She significantly influenced the film industry during her time and beyond. Her performances were memorable and made a lasting impression. She was known for trying new things and challenging the usual ways of doing things in movies. She was loved by audiences all over the world because of her talent and charm. In the movies Breathless and St. Joan, she played interesting characters that showed how good an actress she was. She was good at playing different kinds of roles with realness and depth. Besides acting, she also stood up for important causes and used her fame to talk about them. She inspired many actors and directors to be more creative and bold. Her influence still affects the film industry today, reminding us how powerful art can be. In conclusion, her impact on movies is clear. She changed Hollywood in big ways that we still see today. In the midst of her career, she got caught up in controversies. Her connection with the Black Panther Party grabbed the attention of the FBI. In 1970, rumors circulated about her pregnancy, initially linked to Raymond Masai Hewitt, a Black Panther leader. After losing the child, she revealed Carlos Navarra as the real father, despite earlier saying it was Roman Gary. This tough situation seemed to burden her, worsening her lifelong struggle with depression, leading her to end her life in 1979. Her marriage to the much older Russian novelist Roman Gary was troubled. He had a controlling influence on her, making their union very unhappy. Gary took his own life in 1980. In his goodbye letter, he denied any connection between Jean's death the previous year and his own end. Even amid personal troubles, her professional life remained remarkable. While filming Macho Callahan, she developed a close bond with David Jansen, as remembered by Dean Ladd. Their friendship was clear, making them a pleasure to work with, according to Ladd. Despite the difficulties she faced, Jean Seberg made a lasting impression on those she worked with and the world of cinema. Considered for roles in famous movies like Fahrenheit 451 and Dr. Zhivago, Jean Seberg almost made a big difference in cinema in a different way. While filming Macho Callahan in Durango, Mexico, she fell in love with Carlos Navarra, who later became the father of her daughter Nina. Speaking Spanish fluently, she helped bridge the gap between the Mexican crew and the American cast. This was her world, where love and language were important parts of her journey in movies. She effortlessly navigated the differences in culture, fitting in easily with both the American and Mexican sides of the production. Her ability to connect with people on a personal level, regardless of language barriers, was clear in the friendships that grew on set. It was through these connections that she not only enriched her own experience, but also left a strong impression on those around her. Jean Seberg's influence went beyond her performances, leaving a lasting memory in the hearts of those she met a sign of her significant impact on both sides of the camera. Jean Seberg, an actress renowned for her captivating presence on screen, made a lasting impact on cinema through her memorable roles. One of her standout performances was as Patricia Francini in the 1960 film Breathless. She played a free-spirited American girl in Paris, caught in a turbulent romance. In a particular scene, her character asks, what's your name? Go on, tell me a lie, capturing her spontaneity and intrigue. In the 1957 film Bonjour Tristesse, she portrayed Cécile, a young woman dealing with the complexities of love and family dynamics. Seberg's portrayal beautifully conveyed the innocence and vulnerability of her character, leaving a lasting impression. The 1962 film Lilith featured Seberg as the titular character, a mysterious woman in a mental institution. Her performance explored psychological complexity, showcasing her versatile acting skills. Throughout her career, Seberg embodied diverse characters authentically, showcasing her charm, charisma, and talent. Her unique blend of qualities continues to connect with audiences. During the making of Paint Your Wagon, challenges arose that tested her resilience. Her singing voice needed dubbing, and they struggled to find the right replacement until Alan J. Lerner stepped in. Anita Gordon, the singer they wanted, proved hard to find until a Screen Actors Guild operator helped make the connection. While dealing with personal turmoil, she filed for divorce from Roman Gary during filming, hoping for a fresh start with Clint Eastwood. But Eastwood distanced himself during post-production, which hurt her emotionally. Amidst all this, she found comfort in the beautiful landscapes of Durango, Mexico. 
It was there she met Carlos Navarra, starting a significant relationship that changed her life. Their bond grew stronger over time, and Navarra eventually became the father of her daughter. The movie, Paint Your Wagon, wasn't just a professional project for her. It was a time of growth and change in her personal life too. The challenges and successes during this period shaped her life story, giving a peek into the ups and downs of Hollywood's golden era. This chapter in her life, a story of love, resilience, and self-discovery, shows how fame's path can be unpredictable, but also how people can overcome its challenges. In Macho Callahan, she portrayed Alexandra Mountford. Alongside David Jansen, she found him to be amusing company, as she mentioned in a French interview. In Paint Your Wagon, her character Elizabeth's singing voice was dubbed by Anita Gordon, while Clint Eastwood and Lee Marvin performed their own songs. Marvin's rendition of Wandering Star topped the UK charts, earning him a gold record. When producer Ross Hunter discussed an all-star disaster film in 1969, Stella Stevens was led to believe there were roles suited for her, possibly those played by her or Jacqueline Bissett in airport. Yet, she never heard back from him. It was a missed opportunity indeed. In 1978, she wrote and published a letter in a popular newspaper, Liberation, talking to people addicted to drugs. This brave act showed she cared about society's problems, proving she was not just a talented actress, but also a kind person. Even though she was famous for her roles in movies, her actions outside of acting were also interesting. For example, when Francois Truffaut wanted her to be in his famous movie Day for Night, she didn't respond to his calls. This led to Jacqueline Bisset getting the role instead. Seberg's mysterious personality seemed to fascinate even big names in the film industry. In the movie Paint Your Wagon, her role as Elizabeth showed she could play different characters well. She once criticized Lee Marvin's singing by saying it sounded like rain going down a rusty pipe, showing she was witty and honest. These honest remarks, along with her talent, made people see her as an actress who did things her own way. Her actions and choices had a big effect on the film industry, leaving a strong impression on both audiences and other professionals. Looking back, Jean Seberg's story lives on not just through her acting, but also through the bold decisions she made and the principles she stuck to. Her story reminds us that talent comes in many forms, and being true to yourself is important in an industry where everyone tries to fit in. In 1983, a musical unfolded on the stage at the Royal National Theatre in London. It brought to life the journey of a fascinating individual. Titled Jean Seberg, the show was crafted by Julian Barry, with music by Marvin Hamlish and lyrics by Christopher Adler. It gracefully told the story of a woman who made a lasting impact on the world. One of the movies that meant a lot to her was Lilith, a project she held dear. It showed her talent as an actress and her skill in playing different characters. Another notable film was Macho Callahan, where she acted alongside David Jansen, whom she greatly admired. Throughout her career, each role she took on had significance in her artistic journey. From stage to screen, Jane Seberg's life was like an interesting story, leaving a memorable impression that lasts. And so, the tale of Jean Seberg, brought to life by Julian Barry, Marvin Hamlish, and Christopher Adler, continues to echo through time, a testament to the power of storytelling and the spirit of a woman who left a lasting impact. During the filming of Paint Your Wagon, Jean Seberg had an affair with Clint Eastwood in Baker County, Oregon. Despite the intimacy they shared, once back at Paramount, he seemed indifferent, which deeply affected Seberg. At the same time, Eastwood was also involved with another woman, an extra on set without Seberg's knowledge. This unnamed extra, rumored to be Danielle Cotet, disclosed the affair anonymously, revealing a two-year relationship orchestrated by Eastwood. However, Seberg remained unaware of Eastwood's other entanglement. Of all her leading men, only Jean Paul Belmondo attended her funeral. Seberg had siblings, an older sister named Marianne, and two younger brothers, Kurt and David, who passed away in 1968. Belmondo's presence at her funeral highlighted the depth of their connection amidst her personal struggles and the fleeting nature of Hollywood relationships. The former daughter-in-law of John Barry, she stayed close with Nico and David Keller. She really liked Marlon Brando ever since he started acting in The Men, so she asked him to visit her in Iowa when she was young. Later on, Brando asked her to invite him again. Throughout her life, she dealt with being famous and managing her personal relationships, but she found comfort in her art and activism. Despite the good and bad times, she stayed strong and left a big influence on movies and society. Her influence still inspires people today, showing how much she mattered. In cinema, Jean Seberg left her mark. Her parents, Edward Seberg and Dorothy Benson, 
Both lived longer than her. Edward passed away in 1984 and Dorothy in 1997. Interestingly, the role in Paint Your Wagon wasn't originally for her. Several actresses turned it down before she took it on, including Julie Andrews, Faye Dunaway, Mia Farrow, Diana Rigg, and Tuesday Weld. Similarly for Lilith, many actresses were considered before she got the part, such as Yvette Mimio, Natalie Wood, Samantha Egger, Sarah Miles, and Dean Salento. After her death, Seberg was laid to rest in the Montparnasse Cemetery in Paris, France. Her final resting place is there. In 1979, Jean Seberg found herself in a complicated marital situation. Although she had a blessing ceremony with 19-year-old Algerian playboy Ahmed Hasni, it wasn't legally binding. Seberg was still legally married to Dennis Berry at the time. So, despite her connection with Hasni, their union wasn't recognized as a legal marriage. Dennis Berry, not Ahmed Hasni, is technically Jean Seberg's widower because they never got divorced. This adds more complexity to Seberg's romantic life. Throughout her life, she had relationships with Ricardo Franco, Carlos Fuentes, and Fabio Testi, showing how intricate her personal relationships were. In her romantic life, there were unconventional twists and turns. The blessing with Ahmed Hasni and her relationships with other notable figures added layers to her experiences. These romantic connections show the many sides of Seberg's life, with both joy and complexity.